What's up, everybody? It's Merman Mike. I'm out here at Discovery Park. Um, I've got Aaron and what's your name again, Bob? Ray. What? Ray. Gray? Ray? Ray. Ray. And uh, yeah, I've actually got contacted from a mutual friend of ours. They tried to get a hold of him. His name's Carl Bly. He does a American River Lost and Found page. And he's really good about returning things to people, but unfortunately recently he had a surgery on his ear so he couldn't be in the water for a couple weeks. So he got a hold of me because he still loves to help people and wanted to come to some sort of resolution for these guys. And uh, I said, of course, not a problem. And so I'm gonna give it over to Aaron and kind of let him tell you guys how it ended up in the water in the first place. And also why it's just so important to him that he gets back. Yesterday I was on my way in from fishing. The guy waved me down over here on the bank. He had his spinnerbait hung up on the tree. I went to go retrieve it for him before pulling my boat out of the water. And as I did so, I had my ice chest in the front of my boat with my phone on top of it. I moved over to the side of my boat. My boat tilted. My phone slid off my ice chest into the water. So we're going to see if we can't get it back today. And then uh, a lot of valuable pictures. Yeah, all the pictures of my family. I just didn't get around to uploading them to the cloud. and. That's why we're here today. So we're gonna try our best to get that back. I've got a pretty good feeling about it. Uh, we've been having a lot of good luck so far. Plus, they know basically exactly where it is, and uh, that's the key: is to exact know exactly where it is, mark it exactly when you lose it. That way, it makes it as easy as for me or someone else in your local area to go find it. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go get in the boat, and we're gonna go see what we can find. If you guys have never been to my channel before, what I like to do is I go out around the local lakes and rivers, sometimes not so local, and I try to help return any sort of lost valuables back to their owner. I always try to also make sure to get all the trash out of the water while I'm down there. Thoroughly believe you can't just go after the treasure, you always have to get the trash too. But uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good video and uh, can't wait to show you guys what's down there. Stay tuned. All right. Flashlight on. Metal detector on. Is my camera still rolling? Okay. Yep. Sweet. All right, guys. Let's go see if we can find this thing. Thank you.
any power buttons or anything like that just so I didn't want to yeah not a problem I'm so glad I was able to do I was getting scared for a second because starting to shiver a little bit and then I was like oh I, it should be here and I was like I don't understand it but yeah it was just wedged real good up in between some branches yeah. I don't know if things just kind of shifted overnight or something like that but found a golf ball too <laughs> I couldn't pass it up right. I'm about grabbing that for me all right, I'll meet you over there. You want me to untie it, or you got it over no, there? I got it tied up. All right, guys. Got done with our dive, and uh, we found it. Oh, that was awesome. I was getting a little nervous there at the end because yeah it was super poor visibility i'm not even sure if you guys will be able to see anything but yeah i was looking around i mean i looked around this area for about five or ten minutes and i thought i had looked everywhere but i started basically just shoving the metal detector inside little nooks and crannies and whatnot and it went off in one of them so i just stuck my hand in there and kind of started feeling around and pulling things out and sure enough there was his phone so uh yeah i couldn't be more excited right now or happy and just had a great day. All right, everybody, so I'm here with Aaron. Um, I just kind of wanted to get some of his thoughts about basically what he was thinking about when I was underwater, how he felt when I came up out, and uh, yeah, just what it's like to have his phone back. So, here he is. Glad I got my phone, huge sigh of relief. Um, the dive took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but because uh, the length of time that went by, I was becoming more and more doubtful that he was gonna find it, but then he, came up with my phone and this is it's, it's huge it means so much to me he's definitely restored my faith in humanity Man, absolutely I'm absolutely glad i could do this for thank you thank you um, and yeah i was actually getting doubtful myself just because i was expecting to jump in find it and then as soon as i got under i realized there was like multiple level of tree branches so it definitely wasn't going to be as easy as i initially thought but super glad we were able to get that. And uh, yeah, if you guys like these videos, please make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, sharing with you guys as friends. Always helps me get out there and make more videos and uh, help more people like Aaron. So take care and I'll see you on the next video.